guys, it is Friday night, and tonight we are doing tacos. I haven't made my plate yet, so I figured I would just show you all the kids' plates. We are trying two new things. This is the pork roast carnitas style cook in a bag from Kroger. I bought it on Markdown for $4.99. It's two pounds, so I'm hoping that this will be enough food for tonight. And then whatever leftovers tomorrow, I plan on making some like pork carnitas mac and cheese. And then we are also trying this rice aroni Spanish rice. Andy really likes Spanish rice, as do the kids. So we're trying that. So I'll let y'all know how those are and how the family likes it. So we're just having, like I said, the pork carnitas and the rice. And then the kids split one of these holy guacamole minis that I got on clearance at Kroger. And then black beans and tortilla chips. And they don't really like a lot of things on their tacos, so they both just have cheese. But I will have, I've got some sour cream and some lettuce, possibly some salsa. Sometimes I want it on there, sometimes I don't. And then tomato. And that's what we're having for Friday. Hey guys, it is Saturday and tonight for dinner we are having mac and cheese and then I used the leftover pork carnitas from last night and mixed it together and this is just homemade mac and cheese. Um, I just mix a bunch of stuff together. There's no recipe really. It's shell noodles and then I used a little bit of Elvita, some of this Fiesta blend cheese, some half and half just because I had it and I wanted to try to use it up, and some butter and that's it. And then the pork carnitas from last night, which update on that. The pork carnitas was delicious, just a tad spicy if you got a piece that had a bunch of the like outer seasoning on it, um, but most of it wasn't that spicy. And then the rice that we had last night, the rice aroni, the Spanish rice, me and the kids did not care for it. Andy loved it, but I didn't care for it, so we will not be buying that again. But yeah, this, I already tasted it. It tastes really delicious, and that is what's for dinner for Saturday. Hey guys, it is Sunday and tonight we are trying some new things for dinner. We are having Parmesan crusted pork chops and I already tried it when I cut up the kids and it's really delicious. So I will link that down below because they are so good and like really simple to make. It's mostly just grated Parmesan cheese and Italian breadcrumbs. Super easy. And then we are having, I've got some cucumber and some tomatoes with salt and pepper on it and then I made a can of carrots because we don't eat carrots that often and I'm trying to use them up out of the pantry. And then we are trying this Pearl Couscous Roasted Garlic and Olive Oil Flavor. I found this at Al er, at Ollie's for 99 cents and it says their price is $1.99. I looked at Kroger and it was like $2.69 and I already tried a bite of that and it was delicious as well. So if you like couscous you might want to try that. And here's the kids plates. Elijah's having a salad, carrots, couscous, and pork chop. And Lily is having cucumbers, carrots, couscous, and pork chop. And that's what's for dinner for Sunday. Hey guys, it is Monday and tonight for dinner I made tuna patties, just like the salmon patties, but they're tuna patties instead. And then we're having loaded mashed potatoes, which has bacon, cheddar cheese, milk, and sour cream, salt and pepper, and garlic in there. Did I say bacon bits? I don't remember, but yeah, bacon bits and then some canned green beans. And that is what's for dinner for Monday. Hey guys, it's Tuesday and tonight we are just having spaghetti for dinner. Really simple and easy. Sometimes instead of ground beef, I like to use ground sausage. I actually got this on Markdown. It's just some mild pork sausage. Um, a couple weeks back I got that for like $1.69 a pound. So that's a good deal. So I like to use that in my spaghetti and we're just having the Aldi marinara that we really like. And then we really like these noodles and buy them when we can get them for like 50 cents a pack. The Ronzoni Garden Delight Veggie Spaghetti Noodles. So there's that. And then this was a loaf of Italian bread that I cut in half like this way. And I froze them separately. And so I've got some butter and garlic and Italian this seasoning on that. And I baked it in the oven for a couple minutes. Seeds? No seeds? No, no seeds. And then we've got salad as well. It's a little bit of romaine, a little bit of spinach, ranch dressing, a little bit of cheddar cheese, cucumbers, a couple croutons, and some tomato. And that is what's for dinner for Tuesday. It is Wednesday and tonight we had like a whatever you want kind of night for dinner. 
The kids had leftover stuff from Chili's yesterday that we had for lunch, so they ate that. And Andy had something, but I don't think he's going to eat it. He had some nachos left over from Chili's, but I'm not sure that he's going to eat that. Because instead, he asked me to make him a pizza quesadilla, because I said that's what I was making myself. So I just thought I'd show y'all the inside, because it's more, it's easier to see. So I just took a tortilla, put some pizza sauce on it, some mozzarella cheese, and some pepperoni. And then in a second here, I'm going to fold it in half, and it'll be done. And I will show you that in just a second. Okay, and it's done, so that's what it looks like. Just a quesadilla, but it has pepperonis and pizza sauce in it. And it's delicious. Me and the kids really like these for lunch. When we want something pizza flavored, but don't have stuff to make pizza, we make this on tortillas, because you like always have extra tortillas. And yeah, that's what's for dinner for Wednesday. Hey guys, it is Thursday, and tonight for dinner, I actually tried the recipe on the back of the Uncle Ben Spanish-style rice that we like. And it's called Spanish style beef and rice. Really simple. Um, I didn't do the peppers and onions. And then I thought I had a can of pinto beans, but I didn't, so I used kidney beans instead. It's pretty good. The kids really, really like it. I thought it would be good in a burrito, so I am having it in a burrito and then with a side of chips and guac and possibly a little bit of salsa. And that is our dinner for Thursday. And that ends this week's What's for Dinner. Hope y'all got some ideas this week. Let me know in the comments down below if you're trying anything new this week. And I will see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.